Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. I'm not really sure how rare and exotic this is. Cask, Speyside, 12 year old from A.D. Ratri, a sherry cask finish, 46% natural color and non-chilled filtered. Goes for around 44, 45 euros over here in Germany. Now the very, very first thing I thought of was this. Do you recognize Bruchladi's color? And do you recognize the Caspace side? Yes, this is a tad greener. This is more of the aqua turquoise, um, but it was so close where I was like, oh, is it possibly? No. All right, so what we have here is a secret space side. What does secret space side mean? Adu Ratri did not have the rights to put the name on the bottle. Look at this color, natural color, very, very nice. The sherry cask influence is here apparent. The question, of course, is how long was the sherry cask finished? Nothing. I could not find any information online. Maybe I didn't look hard enough, but I couldn't find anything there. So it says here, um, cask Bayside, and that's it, 46%. Now I'm going to compare it to something and it's going to be the cast a uh, space side also from AD Rattry and it's going to be the 10 year old. So let's see if I remember to put it up here. Ding! Because I have here only my sample left. Now if you take a look at the colors here um, you will notice immediately the difference in the cask influence. Sherry cask, no sherry cask. White wine, sherry cask. All right, so no, it's not white wine. This is a 10-year-old Spay, um, Spayside cask from AD Rattery as well. It was a couple euros cheaper. And now we have a 12-year-old. I like the 10-year-old. I thought it was a good value for money. It reminded me a little bit of a Glenlivet um, illicit still, 46% and so on and so on. But it has an age statement. It's non-chilled filtered, no color added, and 46%. Basically everything we want except for the name of the distillery. Over here we have the sherry um, influence added. I don't know if it's two years or only one year or only six months. On the nose, the very first thing that I get is sulfur. So now I am not a fan of whiskeys with sulfur. Now there are Mortlachs and there are Craig Alachis that have a little bit of a meaty character due to the warm tub and so on. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about as if you're out camping and you had these um, all-weather purpose uh, matches that you um, can do almost in any type of weather, and that's that sulfur in there. It's not yet the rotten egg sulfur. It's going towards that direction, but it's not. Now, where does that sulfur come from? Unfortunately, you buy a sherry cask in Jerez, in, Jerez, in Spain, and you have to send it then over to uh, Scotland. How do you send it? You send it in a container. In order for the um, sherry, which is not that high of a percentage of a um, liquid, so that is not... Um, spoil in the cask, especially in the heat of the summer or even the you know, with spring of the fall time, um, you put a sulfur candle into that cask, you twirl it a little bit around in there, you have a sulfur oxide that actually uh, creates, um, builds up in the cask and therefore it prevents that sherry from spoiling. It reaches then um, Scotland, you fill it up with your distillate and you still have that sh uh, sulfur compounds in your whiskey. Terrible. Before 1990s, actually in the 80s even, you did not have that. You would send the sherry casks over to um, um, Scotland filled with sherry. They would use the sherry and so on. No longer allowed. Sherry has to be filled up in um, Spain in the bottle, just like single malt scotch has to be. And so you have to make a different system. The solution is to, of course, use cooled containers. We send vegetables and everything else around the world in cooled containers. Why not send casks? Does it cost a little bit more? Yes. Does it make a big difference? Definitely. Is it worth the money? Yes. Are some people doing it? A few, but unfortunately not enough. And then you get a whiskey that tastes like a matchstick, and I'm just kind of, why? Now this, the 10-year-old, absolutely a perfect example of what a good space side whiskey could be like. I do get a tiny little bit of that lactus acid, that baby vomit, <laughs> a little tiny bit, but it's still a very interesting okay whiskey. 
Is it worth about 40 euros? Nah, I'm not really sure. I think I'd go for something else for that value for money, but still it's okay. Is this worth the money? No, not in my opinion. So sorry, guys. A.D. Rattree, you need to have someone on your team with a nose that can really detect sulfur, and you need to have, my personal opinion, enough courage to say this cask will not be bottled. Sell it to someone else. There are enough brokers out there who will take that off your hands, I'm sure. Um, but you won't have the stock that you need um, if you made the mistakes years ago by buying sulfured casks. Will people not notice? Two-thirds of people in Germany normally don't notice the sulfur. So, you're in the majority. Unfortunately, a third of us do, and a third of us um, of those, at least half of the third, so about a sixth of us are really turned off by, by sulfur. And I'm turning into someone who's more and more turned off by sulfur. All right. Uh, yeah. So according to the box, I should be getting almonds. Almond icing. Um, dusted cinnamon. Red apple and black currants. This is as if someone's is maybe I um there's a little bit like um a nice little song from Bach, Beethoven, so you know classical music. And on top of that, you're in a disco in Berlin with techno music. Boom, 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 boom. You can't hear what's going underneath. That's what happens to me when I have a salt sulfured whiskey. All right, um, I can't even. I'm gonna say cheers to your health. Once again, the sulfur, for me, takes over. There is some red currant moments in there, the sherry. There is a little bit of a leather. There's a little bit of the orange zest from the marmalade in there. And you have those um, red berries. But the sulfur is the, at least for me and my per particular um, perception of this whiskey, is more and more there. It could be that some people might actually have cherry plum, spice tunny, and zesty orange marmalade. Got the marmalade. So, and the finish, I love this statement. Whoever wrote this statement should be awarded with a little tiny bonus because I really like this one. Rolling gently through subtle spices to a lightly tart bramble conclusion. Wow, that's almost poetry, people. I like that. So, spicy berry, citrus, and orchid, or, or, orchid, wow, orchard, can't speak today, orchard fruit. So, um, my slogan for Whiskey Jason is Whiskey Jason, honest, independent, and socially engaged. So, I do charity work and so on. All right, so in German, it's three words, but you can't say engaged because you think I'm going to get married soon. All right, so, and over here it says navigate, explore, and discover. I like your slogan a lot. Um, really, like I like what you're doing. Oh, by the way, I recently had the cask Orkney to 18-year-old again in a blind tasting. What was the first tasting note I got off of it? Off of it, And a lot of other people in my blind tastings, about 50 people were tasting with me. Sulfur. When I did it originally, not a single word about sulfur. I was surprised. Either the bottling, there's a different batch and there's more sulfur or sulfur in them, or either I have developed or I have, um, or I might have been a little bit blind back then. Good. This is going to get actually a D minus for me. Um, if you're a uh, person who's blind to sulfur, that could actually be a C plus. You might actually like it. Also on Whiskey Base, Whiskey Base number 180797, you have people giving it um, votes from 87 all the way down to 79. Some people like it, some people don't. Mm, some people like this, um, the sulfur pot, some people don't. Um, the sherry, was is the influence is there. I personally like the 10-year-old much better. Personal opinion. Hmm. It does have a little bit of kick. It does have a little bit of youth at 10 year olds, the age statement of 46%. This is the best 10 year old, 46%, non chilled, filtered, um, not your color whiskey I've ever had? No. Is it okay for the money, value for money? Yes. All right. So, uh, Whiskey Jason here. My question of the day is what is your favorite AD Rattree bottling? You have a cask Speyside, you have a cask Orkney, you have a cask 
it's an island or the highland, I'm not even sure anymore. You have different casks and AD, AD Rattery also has a lot of independent bottlings, at least that are, po that are possible to buy here in Germany and in Europe. I do not know if they send all over the world, who knows. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, tell others, and um, thank you very much for helping me almost reach, or whenever this video comes out, reach the 2,000 um, subscriber mark. Wow. I would have not have guessed that I would have reached that so quickly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.